Hey guys, and welcome back to my world. So today I have a entity pinger. So if I throw this potion down, you'll see that on the left hand side in my chat, I now actually get a list of what entities is within a certain amount of radius within me. Now I've got the setup to only go up to 70 blocks, um, which maybe is already too much, but you'll see is I've got, you'll see I've got a skeleton within 50 blocks, skeleton within 50 blocks, creeper, 70 blocks, pig, zombie, skeleton, squid, uh, spider. So obviously all of the hostile mobs is most probably down in these caves or no, 70 blocks would be further away than that. So there's a whole cave system down here. That's so all of the bad mobs will be in these cave systems. Um, but there you'll see is a pig. Did it pick up a pig? Um, zombie squid, 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 squid. So maybe it was a bit too far away. Now there's a pig. Yep, there's a pig within 70 blocks. The squids are, uh, there's water over here somewhere. And yes, and there are the squids. Okay, whee! Okay, if I now drop this, so let me just really do a trigger point here. So do like so, just so we can see where we are. If I drop it now again, um, you'll see that this that the squids will now actually be within 20 block radius of me, and it'll list every single squid. And the skeleton is also within 30 blocks, so there should be a cave system behind one of these walls. I think where was it? Was it in here? Let's have a look. Yeah, there's 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 caves here. Um, yeah, so it'll basically list any any entity. Now the whole idea was uh, that I actually use this, or I designed it to be used in a PvP map where you take a certain action and it will then basically list uh, the closest players to you. Right, so let me quickly go show you how this actually works. Now, first off, as you noticed, I'm using a trigger and I'm actually using um, I'm actually using a splash potion. So if we just go and have a look, we actually got a ping splash potion. Now this is strength two that lasts for two seconds. Now you can use any trigger at all. You can use an item that um, you're holding. You can use um, an item that's worn. You can basically use anything. I just happen to like splash potions because it lasts very, very quickly and it's a nice visual way of actually doing it for me. So let me just quickly go scoreboard, um, objectives, uh, where's objectives, set display, sidebar, ping. Okay. Right, so this is the first of all, this is a trigger. Um, actually, hold on. First off, here's a very, very fast clock running. So this is just a full clock running, uh, which just then runs all of these commands very, very quickly. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm looking for that particular effect on a player. If I find it, I have a scoreboard objective set up as ping, uh, 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 ping, which is a dummy objective. So it's just a scoreboard objective uh, add ping dummy. And I then give them a ping score of one. Okay, so if you if you have a very very quick look on my right hand side, if I splash myself, you'll see my ping score will kind of go up, uh, and then it didn't list anything because there's no there's no mobs around here. Okay, so um, and then it resets to zero. So basically, I am giving a player a ping score of one. When a player has a ping score of one, I then run a number of commands, okay, based on their ping score, and then. At the end of the cycle, I actually add one to any player who has a ping score of one. So my ping score on the right will then be two, uh, th and then with the next cycle three, the next cycle four, the next cycle five. So every cycle of this clock, I'll get one added to my ping score. And then when my ping score reaches zero, I just reset it to zero. Oh, sorry, ten. So when my ping score reaches ten, I then reset the ping score to zero. Now, why do I have a ping one, two, three, four, five happening? The reason is. Um, is how I actually do the command. So what I'm doing is I'm actually doing an, a nested execute. So I'm executing at anybody who has a ping score of at least two and no more than two. So anybody who's got a ping score of exactly three, I'm then going to execute a say command at any entities that's within a six block radius that's, that is at least three blocks away and, and at least... Um, within a six block radius and at least three blocks away from me, I'm then going to have them do issue a me command that just says I am within a six block, six blocks of the player who has a ping of two. Okay. And then the next one is 12 blocks. So um, if my ping score is three, I then run the 12 block check. If my ping score is um, four, I then run a 20 block check. Uh, I think I removed one somewhere. Anyway, if I'm, I have a ping score of 5, I do a 30 block check. If I have a ping score of 6, I do a 50 block check. When I'm 7, I do a 70 block check, uh, etc. So, as I said, I can probably remove a lot of these, but it was just to kind of show you guys 
how it actually works and that it can you can work up to any loaded chunks uh, in the world uh, really I mean you can have a thousand blocks and anybody who's within a um, thousand blocks of you in a loaded chunk will then actually tell you so I mean uh, it won't it will ignore any any empty chunks but it will it, it will show you uh, people who's in loaded chunks so this is very 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 handy um yeah I think that's really it there's no more that I can actually really tell you about it um yeah guys thank you very much for watching and as always I will check you all later